Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Ms. Blackhouse, and today, guys, I'm finally bringing you a brand new video and possibly a brand new series on my channel for top fives or top tens or whatever I want to do. So, before I get started, I would like to apologize for not uploading, having any gameplays whatsoever. So, I kind of, like I said, I really do apologize, but luckily, I was able to get a gameplay. So, yes, you guys are seeing an advanced warfare video in the background because I was not playing Black Ops 2 earlier this morning. So I was actually kind of testing out advanced warfare. And I'm still having problems with getting into lobbies. So that's uh, another reason why I don't like advanced warfare. But luckily I got into a lobby. Completed the supply drop challenge that I was doing. And was playing Mosh Pit Domination. So you guys are going to see a Domination gameplay on the map Perplex. And actually this is a pretty good game. Uh... I think I'm at like 33 and 13, which that's actually pretty good for me not really playing it as much. But anyways, guys, on to the topic of the top five reasons why Call of Duty sucks. Now, yes, I know I do suck at, well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I do suck at Call of Duty, but I want to explain my reasons why I think Call of Duty sucks in general, even if it's in Advanced Warfare or Call of Duty Ghost or any of those stuff. So this is just, just the general reason why Call of Duty sucks. So the first thing I want to say for number one is knife kills. Now, yes, I know a lot of people hate knife kills because either sometimes they don't register or sometimes you're like three feet away from them and they still kill you, which I don't understand why Call of Duty wants to do that. Like, every time I go knife somebody, it doesn't register, but every time I get knifed, it always registers and I'm like three feet away from them. So that's another reason why knife kills suck in Call of Duty, which hopefully in the near future, maybe, um... Like Treyarch or Infinity War, I don't know about Sledgehammer, but hopefully, maybe like in the near future, they will finally get their logic stuff correct instead of the, like three feet away and you still die. Like what the heck, Call of Duty? But anyways, number two, grenades slash launchers. So now when I'm at slash slash launchers, I mean like grenade launchers and or just grenades itself, even syntax. So this is before dying. So. For me, like, every time I go shoot a grenade launcher kill, like, I die before I even, like, freaking get out of the, uh, what's it called, the launcher. So, every time I think I do shoot it, it doesn't really actually come out. So, hopefully, later on in the future, they will fix that because every time I go try to finish my combat efficiency of grenade launcher kills, I wish that when I die, the grenade launchers will actually come out of the launcher. The grenades will come out of the launcher like they're supposed to. So, that's, this is my second reason why Call of Duty sucks. Because, logic. Number three, flat jacket. Now, yes, I know the purpose for flat jacket is that you're, it's supposed to reduce the damage of explosions. Now, every time I go kill somebody, like, with three explosions, they still don't die. Now, I don't like it when people don't die like they're supposed to. So I kind of wish Flat Jacket was only two explosions and then you're dead instead of like waiting three or four explosions then they don't, then they die. Cause like, for me when I was trying to kill this one guy in Black Ops 2, I had three explosions, I shot two grenade launcher kills and a Simtex kill and the guy still did not die. But yeah, every time I have Flat Jacket, uh, flat jacket on, I still die. So that I hate. I really hate it when Call of Duty does that. And before I go on number four, guys, uh, I kind of do apologize if my voice starts to tremble a little bit because it is really hot in my house. And I don't really do commentary. I, I hate doing commentaries in my room because that's like really because my room gets hot during summertime. But when I do commentaries in the entertainment room, it's not as hot in there. So that's why you, uh, you hear a difference between the, uh, the videos I make. But anyways, guys, number four, kids on Call of Duty. Now, yes, I know there's a lot of kids. Who's like under 10 years old who plays Call of Duty? You know, I hate it when they try hard. Like, I hate it when they are trying so hard that they have to use AN94s, MTARs, LSATs, uh, what, what else? What else did they use? Um, there's another gun that sometimes they use, but I don't know. Guys, if you're under 10 years old, go outside and play. Don't play Call of Duty because I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying that I, a lot of people my age. Because I'm actually 16 and turning 17 in December. People my age don't want to hear squeakers. Now, yeah, I kind of do admit I don't like squeakers either. Even though, personally to me, I sound like I'm a squeaker. But really, I'm not. Because I'm 
very mature. I already hit my puberty when I was like 11 years old, so that was like back in sixth grade. But if you're under 10 years old, like I said, go play outside. But if you're going to start playing Call of Duty, I, I, I would wait until you're like 13 or 14 years old just to start playing Call of Duty. Now, yeah, you're supposed to be actually 17 and older to play Call of Duty, but nobody listens to the rules anymore. So, you know... I don't care, because once I'm 17, I can buy any game I want, so that I'm not really worried about. But guys, like I said, if you're, if you're 10 years old, don't, don't play it. Don't play this game, because I don't want to hear you try hard with the AN-94 or any of those OP guns, the ASM-1, about 27. That's just stuff. That stuff gets on my nerves, so that's another re reason why Call of Duty sucks. Well, it's not really why Call of Duty sucks. I just, you know, want to put that out there. And number five, our favorite thing, hit markers. Now... To be honest, when you're putting out a full clip, the person still does not die. Like, why? Why doesn't this person want to die if you're putting a full clip on this guy and he's still not dying? Like, really? They should make it, like, three bullets and you're dead or something. Or, yeah, like, around three bullets if you're using a, like, an automatic gun. Now, sniper rifles, on the other hand, seriously, if you, if you get shot in the arm... You automatically die. Like, what? Why can't you just shoot in the head or the torso and you and, really call it duty? See, this is why I don't like your logic, man. Hopefully, in the near future, like I said, they will make everything realistic like it's supposed to because what it'll get, like, if you're shooting someone in the head but yet they still don't die, that is completely messed up because hit markers are such an annoying thing because you want them, you want your enemy to die. So, really, I wish they could fix these hit markers. Even if you put a full clip on these, I wish they could just die that quickly. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here because I am really getting hot. And, like, I'm starting to feel like I'm not, you know, talking that good. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. That would be awesome. And if you guys want me to do more of these top fives or top ten stuff, like I said, drop, please drop a like on this video. Um, I actually have, <coughs> excuse me, I actually have more ideas of these top uh, top fives and top ten videos. So I'm actually wanting to do more of these. But if you guys want me to continue on with these top fives or top tens or top three best or worst stuff, let me don't know down in the comments like which one you want me to do next, like best maps or worst maps. I mean, I don't know. Up to you guys what you want me to talk about next. But anyways, guys. Hopefully I'll get some gameplay up this week for you guys. So anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Make sure to follow me on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. That'd be awesome. And make sure you check out my second channel for other games for me instead of Call of Duty if you don't like Call of Duty anymore. So hopefully you guys will check out my second channel and help it grow a little bit. But anyways, guys, until next time, it's Black Ops signing out. <laughs>